Everybody has looked up at the sky and every time you look up, you find it beautiful. You ask yourself question how big it is. Is there life out there somewhere? Protecting the sky is the core mission because without sky, there is no science of astronomy. We are in La Palma in order to analyze and to establish some recommendations and analysis regarding the effect of the satellite constellations for the astronomical observations. We have around 80 talks, both uh, online and in person. I think it's pretty much half and half. And we have over, over 200 people here. I think it's closer to 250 that are either online or in person. Experts on satellites, uh, mitigation, software, regulation, spatial regulation, in many aspects of uh, astronomy, a uh, professional am amateur, and also uh, some representatives uh, of the uh, uh, industry. This meeting is extremely valuable for our work as diplomats to get to know the, the people that are doing what we are supposed to defend, the people that are on the ground. One of the things that I've been somewhat amazed by is the number of people here from the number of different areas. Just because this really is uh, a fairly new field. There were talks about some historical parts, there were talk about some legal parts, and, and always from some indigenous communities. All these different components of society have these opinions, these viewpoints, these reasoning, which uh, then is when you realize by meeting them uh, uh, how broader this whole question is. It takes a community to solve this, this challenge of trying to reduce the impact of satellite constellations on astronomy, whether it be radio or optical um, observations. Uh, we can see the efforts of the scientific community in order to establish, uh, for example, for uh, mitigations, measurements, uh, so we are collecting all sorts of data, either measurements of brightness of satellites or astronomical imagery that contains streaks and from those streaks you can measure the brightness or even just astronomical data that you'd like to see whether you can remove the streaks or mitigate the impact there somehow. This is new, like nobody has taken uh, brightness measurements of satellites before in a concerted fashion and so it's, it's kind of very exploratory. It's not just a new firework that is over in, in, in a few minutes or hours, but this has lasting consequences and is the accumulation of all these satellites that get up there which creates a problem in the end. So the IAU is very concerned about keeping the skies suitable for astronomical research and also for the cultural good of humanity. For the IAU to actually grant us a symposium does show a, a huge level of prestige in terms of the importance of the issue and how they want to actually get it out there to the community so the community can become more involved. The most pressing issue, I would say, in this domain is all of them. Because I think, uh, again, this is something we've learned in this conference, how multifaceted the problem is. It is not just a technical solution. It is not just a legal solution that matters. All these different aspects are priority, in my opinion, because we don't have that much time. If we look at the rate at which satellite is being launched, we don't have much time if we want to slow them down. This uh, symposium could establish synergy, uh, agreements between the industry, the uh, scientific institutions and the local community in order to protect the sky. I think there is reason enough to be optimistic. Uh, the astronomical community have been able to move governments, a lot of governments, a lot of states, and this is not easy. Work is being done, progress is being, measurable progress is being made, and therefore no matter how much is still ahead of us, I think we, 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 we need to continue. We need uh, as many help from as many people possible, but we'll get there because we have to.